Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about how to reverse tinnitus. So I got to give you a little bit of uh, history on this first before I get into the solution. So in 1998, I was attending my first nutrition seminar. I was one year in practice. And the doctor on stage says that he's been able to figure out a lot of health conditions, except for tinnitus and a few other conditions. And I thought to myself, well, if he doesn't know the solution for tinnitus, neither do I because I was new at the time. And so since then I've tried a lot of different supplements and therapies for the ears and for the eyes and trying to fix tinnitus, the ringing in the ears. Sometimes there's vertigo related to it, um, imbalance. That's why, I was, that's why I was checking the eyes sometimes. But I started recommending ketosis about a year and a half ago and then I started getting results with tinnitus. And I've been wanting to make a video on this for a while now but I've been, I've been holding off because I wanted other people to be able to back me up on what I discovered somewhat accidentally just by t talking about ketosis, getting hundreds of people into ketosis by now. And so here's other people that talk about it. There's a guy named um, Dr. Kenneth Brookler. He's an ENT doctor. And he says that 98% of his tonight's patients just simply have... Um, metabolic syndrome, that means their blood sugar is too high, their insulin is too high, and now their body is depositing calcium in the soft tissues around the whole body, the heart, and uh, you name it, and includes the ear. So you have a membrane, and you got a hammer-looking bone that strikes the membrane, and that's where you get sound waves converted into a nerve signal that goes to your brain. So that hammer and membrane can get stuck like this, and that's where the tinnitus gets in, um, becomes a, a, a component of your health. So you want to be able to loosen this up and get the calcium, the excess calcium out of that inner ear, so now the hammer hits the membrane as it's supposed to instead of being stuck. So I learned about Dr. Kenneth Brookler from an interview I listened to between Dr. Joseph Kraft and Ewar Cummins. He goes by the Fat Emperor. He's got a website. And he's been doing these great interviews. So Ivor Cummins is actually an engineer. And uh, we need more engineers in medicine. I think a lot of people um, are too soft-minded. And they're also emotionally involved in, in results. And they're relying on uh, um, emotions to promote their message, message as opposed to just looking at numbers. So one thing Dr. Kraft says is that people just don't want to hear that they have diabetes. So since he's figured out, Dr. Kraft has figured out, that 70% um, of people with normal blood sugar actually have high insulin and they are diabetic. So he's, he said that back in the 1970s and he wrote a book about it, but nobody's ad adopted his information. So this is why the postprandial insulin test is very important. That's the test you take. You do a fasting insulin blood draw then you drink 75 milligrams of sugar, or maybe it's 100 depending on the lab. And then they test your blood insulin at a half hour, one hour, two hours, like that. So postprandial means after you consume the sugar. So another person that talked about this back in the 1950s was uh, Dr. Roy Lee, the father of um, holistic nutrition. And now he made some supplements in the 1930s. One was 1934, the other, other one was 1938, and they're called Cataplex F. F is in fat. It's mostly flaxseed oil, but one of them has uh, iodine, the other one doesn't, but they're, they're pretty similar. But in the 1950s, Dr. Roy Lee said that you want to take Cataplex F for um, tinnitus to release, to make the, the calcium ionizable and to get that calcium released from the soft tissue. So... Um, ketosis is the main solution. And when Royal Lee made Cataplex F in the 1930s, people were getting into ketosis whether they knew it or not because of the food supply, the condition of our food culture was way different than it is now. So that's how you reverse tinnitus. You gotta get into ketosis. And then you go out, and then you go in, and you go out and in, in and out uh, for the rest of your life. You don't just stay in it forever, and uh, you can't stay out of it forever. Everybody needs to go in ketosis. Whether you do it by fasting for four days or maybe eating more fat than protein and carbs. I got all kinds of videos on this. So just search my name plus ketosis in the uh, YouTube search box 
and uh, find out my other videos. Okay, so I'm super happy to actually be able to, to, to deliver this information to you. It's been 19 and a half years. I've been trying to figure this out, and I knew that I didn't know. But now I know, and I have the results, and I have these, these doctors um, backing up what I have to say. All right, if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thank you.